Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG World 2019. I forgot to change the Zorg, there we go, into Glacian. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being here with me. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And as you can see guys, <laughs> I'm going to be using um, a very, very, very annoying deck here. Um, and I'm actually just noticing that I'm missing one particular card that is super, super um, useful, which is going to be the Bent Spoon card. So I'm going to go ahead and describe what this deck does. Um, we are focused on using Glacian GX 200 HP, um, its ability Freezing Gaze. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play in their hand and in their discard pile have no abilities except for Freezing Gaze. So no Lele's, no Shamans, no anything of the sort. And then we have the attack Frost Bullet, which deals 90 damage and you deal 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And finally, Polar Spear GX, which deals 50 damage times the damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. So a lot of synergy there with the Frost Bullet attack and the Polar Spear GX move. And then the rest of the deck is what makes this super, super weird. Um, four Shaman EX so that we can draw a bunch of cards. Four Marshadow so that we can let loose and bring our opponent down to four cards and draw some extra cards ourselves. We have four unknown as well, which with farewell letter, you get to bench them and then you draw an extra card, which is really, really cool. And then we have the Oricorio with Vital Dance, which when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and put them into your hand. So that way we try and guarantee um, as much as possible the turn one Glacian active in the um, active in the active spot, <laughs> as redundant as that sounds. However, the rest of the deck is what's pretty cool. So Fortress wise, we only have four Delinquent. Now, why Delinquent? Because we're gonna be playing Delinquent on Skyfield, hopefully on turn one, after we bring down our opponent to four cards with Marsh Shadow. So not only are we drawing a bunch of cards ourselves, we are going to be putting our opponent down to an ability lock that uh, they can only get out of with a Guzma. And we are going to be doing that um, by leaving them with only one card in their hand by the end of our first turn. So it's going to be really hard to do sometimes. Um, we'll have to really think how to maximize our draw power. And sometimes it's going to be up to um, randomness, whether we draw the right cards in the right order. Um, so no, no board bar goal. We're not looking to lock um, uh, energy cards as well. We're just super um, focusing on denying and the deck looks clunky, I I know, but once you see it working, Dalton, hopefully that will change your mind. I'm not saying this is the best deck for Expanded, it's just a fun deck to try out, and I think it's an interesting concept um, that I played against in Utah, and I almost lost to it. Um, so yeah, um, items-wise, we have a bunch of items. We have four float stones to make sure we can get the Glacian up to the active spot. We have four Ultra Ball to search for Pokemon we need. Um, for Repeat Ball, which allows us to keep searching Shamans or Marshadows or Gnomes to keep drawing as many cards as we can. Same for the Level Balls, they search for Marshadow and they search for Unknown. And then we have uh, Fortress Mail to allow us to dig deeper into our decks. We have the Computer Search to search for anything in particular we might need. Uh, one Captivating Pokebuff to make sure that um, if their last card is like if the last card they have in hand is like a basic or something, or just to take a look at our opponent's hand. Um, we also have picking red card, which allows us to see our opponent's hand as well. Um, and then we have one bent spoon, because the bent spoon helps you in preventing Trampa's uh, Righteous Edge from completely get, uh, taking you out of the game by um, denying your disease. And then we also have Assault Vest to reduce the damage that Glacian GX takes. Along with four Skyfields so that we can maximize the cards that we draw with Shaman, Marshadow, and Unknown. So let's save the deck and then we'll jump into the ladder. And like I said, guys, this might not be the most competitive deck, but it's one I have enjoyed playing just because it's so annoying. And um, it can get you some like quick concessions on turn one or if you don't pull the full off, uh, if you don't pull 
of the full lock um, on turn one, then you end up being in a lot of trouble yourself. Um, and Raya, thank you so much for resubscribing 10 months. That's a lot of months. <laughs> thank you so much, Raya. Very, very kind of you. Um, so yeah, we shall see how this goes today. Okay, so we're up against a Lightning Psychic deck. Maybe Night March, although I'd be surprised if Night March doesn't run Shaman. We lose a coin flip. Yeah. We lose a coin flip and we also mulligan. So not great. We're gonna give away our strategy immediately. And Joe Bro, I am unfortunately not going to Virginia Regionals. Um I am going to um, only one tournament, uh, international tournament per month, and uh, November I will be traveling to Brazil, um, so I will definitely not be making it to Virginia regionals, unfortunately, unless I do like really well in Brazil, and I win a bunch of money there, and I want to go to the regional, and I'm all hyped up, probably not going to be um, the case, you yeah. know? Okay, so definitely in trouble here. Definitely, definitely in trouble. We're gonna see a Tynamo. We're probably gonna see a turn one um, Sycamore. Yep, there it is. And right off the bat, Swift is gonna be an annoying attack, um, but not too, too, too threatening, right? So, okay. So how do we go about this? Let's. I get Ultra Ball away, the Bent Spoon and the Glacian, right, for a Shaman. And then I can level ball for an EV. I think that's step number one, right? I think that's step number one. So let's go ahead and grab the EV. Um, oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna grab the Shaman. Don't misplay, Pablo. Do not misplay here, please. Okay, so we're gonna grab the Shaman first. Right, gonna grab the shaman and then we're gonna level ball for the Eevee. Right, yes, correct. So then we're gonna go floatstone, we're gonna bench the Eevee, and then we're gonna set up for four. And okay, so Skyfield repeat ball. The issue is that you can't um, play the, the delinquent before. Um, before you marsh at all, right? Because then there's no point. So I'm gonna go ahead and marsh at all. I'm gonna keep these cards available to me after the marsh at all so I can keep digging. And this is beautiful. This is actually what you expect to get or what you hope to get. Now, I'm just gonna grab the one water. Yeah, I don't need both of them. I don't want them both to clog up my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve into the Glacian, right? Leave that ready. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up for another four cards. And there's the Delinquent. So we got the full combo immediately. So I'm not gonna play any more cards. I'm gonna go ahead and Delinquent. Oh, you know what? Okay, never mind. it's fine. I should have played the EV down <laughs> first before I Delinquented so I could discard a Shaman. Um, so he discarded field blower, lightning, lightning, right? So let's go ahead and picking red card. The opponent's last card is field blower. I feel like, would you like your opponent to shuffle their cards in their hand into their deck and draw that many cards? No, I am actually perfectly okay with them having that particular card. So, um, I mean, I don't really need much else. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and trainer's mail. I'm gonna grab the Ultra Ball in case I need to potentially get another uh, Jolteon or not Jolteon, sorry, um, Shaman. And then I'm, I will go ahead and Farewell Letter for an extra card. Have I tried out the new Soul Galo GX? Not yet, um, Bobby Sir, not yet. So I'll bench down the Eevee. And then, yes, we're gonna take a hit here, but that is fine. It's not the best thing in the world, but um, 
but it happens, right? So what does my opponent top deck? We know he has a field lore in his hand, right? Hopefully he top deck lately. She top deck, sorry, she. I had not noticed it was she. Um, oh my gosh. So she is going to try and paralyze me to prevent me from attacking. I am completely okay with that. Um, I actually, like it's less damage overall, so I am completely okay with that. Um, and Henry, please, you don't have to be sorry about not renewing yet. Like, if you can and if you want to, renew. Otherwise, you're never obliged to renew your subscription. But I appreciate you letting me know. Thank you so much for the support, as always. Um, okay, so things are looking good. I actually really... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna frost bullet over here, right? No, I'll frost bullet the Jolton. Because the Jolton is probably gonna be what hits me for 40 next turn. And then that way with the 30, I can actually 2 hit KO him. And then we don't know what the other card is. I love, so let's see. What is this third card? So yeah, Bobby Sir, I do wanna try out this whole Gallo GX, the new Soul Gallo GX for sure. Okay, so we see a field blower, that is completely fine. I'll discard a shaman. So one card, the new card that he top deck was probably the Electrike, right? It had to be. So there's still a mystery card that we don't know what it is. Does it set up like this a lot? Honestly, not a lot. <laughs> Honestly, this isn't usually the norm of the deck, but um, this is definitely what you would want. Um, you would want uh, this deck to be. I wholeheartedly agree. Okay, so it's like it's very one-dimensional, but you can just cheese your opponents out of the game. You know, you can just easily cheese your opponents out of the game like this. Okay, so Dynamotor, two mystery cards. Yeah, two mystery cards that we don't know what they are yet. And 40 damage. I am completely okay with that. I am completely okay. So, I mean, I would love to have a DC. Maybe an Acerola would actually be, like, insane in this deck. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and Frost Bullet. And put the damage on the Tynamo. That way I can win next turn by killing the uh, Electric and the Tynamo. One mystery card, about to become two mystery cards. Captivating Pokepuff allows me to see my opponent's hand. No Guzma means I will not be able to uh, win next turn. And there's a victory. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, um, super annoying deck, but when you pull off the combo, and if you pull it off going first, it's like, it's GG right there. Yeah. Um, Time Drummer, you got to Marshadow two different times in your cup on Saturday. In Swiss it was amazing, Metagross played, player used turn to algorithm and you were able to disrupt, that's great. Had to be called online, that's awesome. And you Marshadow the algorithm and took her Metagross in one shot. That sounds pretty cool. Um, in top card you Marshadow and got for energy and he got two candy and two Vika Volts. Oh, <laughs> well yeah, that's definitely not good. Um, but I'm glad that you can see how like Marshadow can sometimes be good and can sometimes be bad. I'd be bad, but um, it goes both ways. Okay, so we're not going first yet again. Ooh, okay, so I definitely start Oricorio, right? I definitely start Oricorio. I have the Floatstone, I have the Marshadow, I have the um, Level Ball to get the AV, and I have the Water Energy to get the Glacian out. So this is gonna be pretty cool. You could run a 1-1 one, one Gumshoe GX. That is true, Dalton. I actually could. That is not a terrible idea, for sure. Because it also attacks for one energy, right? Um, the thing is, though... And wow, we're up against Zoric, Alola, and Mach Cargo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mach Cargo is going to be super annoying, though. So I think all my 30s are going to go onto Slugma, if I can't do that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, so we even get the sky field. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and search for the EV. Um, nothing to terrible this prize. One Glacian, um, no energies. The Pen Spoon is there. The, we have the Court Delinquent. We have a bunch of Shamans available. So hopefully, hopefully, we can pull off the turn. Like, we're only missing the Delinquent. That's the only thing that we are missing to pull off the combo here. Absolutely, the only thing that we are missing is the Delinquent. Okay. So let's go ahead and float on the active. 
And then I think I'm gonna have Flowstone the Glacian as well, just to thin. I'm gonna go ahead and play the Skyfield. And I'm gonna go ahead and Marsh Shadow. So off of these next four cards, I really need to find a Delinquent eventually, right? The keyword is eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and Trainer's Mail. And there's a Delinquent. There's the Delinquent. So we already have everything that we could possibly want. Um, the Alolan Grimer's attack is gonna be super annoying to deal with though. Super, super annoying to deal with. Um, so annoying. Well, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so my quest, my my debacle here is, do I wanna ultra wall the, the level ball and the water for a Shaman? I feel like I should. Right, I feel like I should. I should not stop here. So Skyfield gone. And okay, so discarded, execute Acerola and Red Guard. Probably all good news for us. Probably all good news. Let's go ahead and search for Shaman. Well, how are you playing, Dalton? <laughs> Okay, so we get a fresh set of six. We we get the DC for next turn. That is honestly all you pretty much want, right? All you pretty much want. Um, we also have the Skyfield plus Delinquent combo again. Hopefully the one card in his hand or the two cards are not, um, oh my gosh, are not um, Macargo. Okay, very secret for Bridget, I am fine with, right? Mystery card. Don't know what it is, but it's not that impactful so far. Um, that was a really good Shaman, probably. That was a really, really good Shaman. Okay, so he's gonna try for the Super Poison Breath, Flip Stales, that's even better, right? A Cerola in this deck would indeed be busted, I agree. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I should bench the Eevee. Um, Guzma would be annoying, but not the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and Frost Bullet and do 30 on the Slogma. I don't care about the Zoarks, I just care about him not having access to manipulate his top deck, right? That's the key here. So, even if he finds CC and keeps paralyzing me, oh my gosh, there's the Makargo. The one card we fear. The absolute one card we, in fact, fear. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. It's not the end of the world. Probably gonna put a um, cold wrist there which i am okay with right gonna go ahead and evolve i kind of want to attach the dc i also kind of don't want to because of the potential of a kuzma so i'm gonna keep my energy for now we're gonna play the 30 on the macargo yeah silly macargo silly silly macargo um i assume alolan grimer is the card coming up here alolan mock would also be good to shut off the strategy though just run Trick Shovel. See, that's the thing, Delton. Like, all the cards that you end up using to try and disrupt your opponent will probably end up backfiring. Yeah, eventually. If my opponent finds the mock here, we are in trouble. If my opponent finds the mock here, we are in trouble. Um, because then we won't be able to Marsh Shadow and try to get the Delinquent play again. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, we'll go for a propagation into an ultra wall, I assume. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We're very far ahead at this point. Yeah, if only the peeking red card had been here a turn sooner, indeed. Okay, so there's the ultra wall. Will my opponent have the vision to go for the mock, or will he um, just go for a Zork? Goes for a Zorua, even, not even a Zork, or the mock. Huh. This deck does not play normal red cards, either again. It relies on Marshadow for that effect. Yeah, it relies on Let Loose Marshadow purely for that. Okay, there's a Zorg on the bench. I don't mind that. There's a Zorg on the active. I also don't mind that. Finds a DCE. Wow, so pretty nice turn for my opponent. <laughs> not gonna lie, pretty nice turn. Um, and I'm not even going to be able to knock out the Zorg. So now I do need to start powering up this Glacian. 
um, because he can uh, frost pull at me and then polar spear to knock me out right molly good and expanded um yeah we lost to malamar earlier okay so i think i just peeking red card here right i think i'm just gonna peeking red card to mess with his with his top deck okay and i definitely want him to shuffle that verse seeker so no top deck for him and no versus seeker hopefully right we don't know Wait, what does this do? Print all hexer with one attacks except damage. So not too impactful here. So do I want to draw cards? Ah, not KOing the Zoro sucks though. That was a beautiful colorist for my opponent. Okay, I feel like I should probably draw cards. I feel like I should probably draw cards here. Do I delinquent him? Oh, maybe with a peeking red card. No, I needed him to shuffle. Now I need to find another blue energy. That's the thing. My last blue energy. It honestly might not be easy to do. Ugh. I mean, I might just end up using a sky return. Which wouldn't be terrible, but... Okay, let's just go ahead and frost pull at the Macargo. Right? Bent Spoon prevents effects of attacks excluding damage. Yeah. Finding that last water energy is gonna be super complicated. I actually originally had four water energy. I dropped down to three, but I could see the Meriden having a, a fourth water energy as well. Ah, oh, that's Zorak though. That Zorak is super annoying. Like my play will probably end up being go into Shaman, Sky return the Zorak and knock it out that way. Yeah, he just goes for the foul play, <laughs> deals 450 damage. We are not guaranteed the. Um, we are not guaranteed the the water energy by any means, but I do want to stop abilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and delinquent without give like the first thing I do is that because I don't want to give him extra information. I should have benched the unknown first though. Should have benched the unknown. Okay, so discarded as logma DC and an ultra wall. So now let's peek in red card. It's an N. Okay, definitely want him to shuffle the N away. Right, definitely want him to shuffle. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach an energy here. Oh, that, geez, my mouse is just not cooperating today. I really need a new one. Um, Trainer's Mail for the Ultra Wall. Oh my gosh, this mouse. I need a new mouse. Does this deck play Stretcher? No. This deck does not play <clears throat> Stretcher. Okay, so I'm gonna Sky Return, get rid of the Zora, Zorark rather, and take a prize. And then I believe I have to promote first. So I'm gonna prom Oh no, he has to promote first. Okay, so I don't know what the card he has in his hand is, but hopefully it's not a DC. Second Zorark and pass. Perfect. Okay. Um. Okay. So, I'm gonna ultra wall these two, this, right? Four and a gnome. I do have the last water energy in the deck, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna thin as much as I can. So I'm gonna repeat ball and grab all my gnomes in my deck. So I'm gonna draw four cards while thinning two more, well, three more actually after the ultra wall. So it's like I'm using Sycamore almost this turn. <laughs> and then I'm gonna Shaman, right? And then I'm going to Shaman. I just need to make sure I don't deck myself out, right? I just need the Water Energy to not be the last card. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful deck. <laughs> what a beautiful deck. Um, Henry, we already played, um, we already played, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, we already played, um, we already played, um, Zork, I'll unlock my cargo, pretty much exactly what my opponent was using. <laughs> and now we're playing Glacian. And then the other deck I prepared for today is Rayquaza GX, but I'm not sure I will have time to pull it up. And there we go. There's the victory. 
there is the victory. What a broken deck indeed. <laughs> what a broken deck indeed. Okay, so. So let's. Let's search for another game. Okay. Um, big Patty Harris. <laughs> Sense of the heart. I'm not sure he's gonna be a big fan of us after he sees what we're playing, but um, okay. All we're missing is, well, we're missing Marshadow and the Delinquent, right? That's what we are missing here. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how this goes. Um, we're up against Archie's Blastoise, I assume, right? We're up against Archie's Blastoise, so probably not going to be the greatest matchup. Ooh, but goes for a Sycamore. Goes for a Sycamore. Okay. So it is Archie's Blastoise. However, hopefully under Glacian Luck, it's not gonna be super easy for, for him to get the setup. Um, I mean, this deck has already been played at Expanded Regionals. I played against this at Utah, yeah? And honestly, like, I do have two Expanded Regionals. I wouldn't mind playing this deck, it feels fun. But I feel like I would rather play it at, like, I would definitely play it at a cup, yeah? I would, I would definitely consider playing it at a cup. I don't think I would play it at a, um, at a regional. I don't think I'd be that bold, but who knows? Um, okay, so... Zero Vanish, I mean, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I just, I wanna thin. So I'm gonna assault this here, and I'm gonna float stone this guy. And then I'm gonna Skyfield, and then I'm gonna Marshadow Us. I'm gonna Marshadow Us, both to four. And then hopefully off of Shamans and Ultra Wolves and whatnot, I'll be, and unknown, I'll be able to find that Delinquent. Imagine you marsh out delinquent him into Archie's. Honestly, it could happen. And there's the delinquent. Jeez. There's actually the delinquent. Um, okay, so... I think I just shame it, right? I think I'm just gonna delinquent here. Let's go. Glacian log, indeed. <laughs> thinking really hard on what to discard it honestly like i wouldn't mind putting him down to archies because there's no blastoise here right hopefully um hopefully that's not that um impactful okay so kept i mean discard verse eager rough seeds and water energy so i'm gonna ultra roll for shaman right i'm gonna ultra roll for shaman um because now my next goal is to find the DC, right? The next goal in the in the lock deck is to find the DC. And there's the DC. Oh my gosh. And even a peeking red card. Ooh, computer surge. So I think I do want him to shuffle that, right? There's so many other cards he could get. That I'd rather him not have access to that. Um, the issue is he does hit me for 150. I mean for 50 rather. Oh my gosh. Top decks trainer mail. Oh no. Well yeah. Ooh, and fails the trainer mail and only benches Articuno. Doesn't even attack me. Why wouldn't you Oh spatial control? I thought it did 20 damage. Oops. That is my bad. I honestly thought spatial control dealt 20 damage. Okay, so do I wanna dig for another Eevee? Probably not yet. I think I just go Frost Bullet. And then I'm gonna knock this guy out. So I'm gonna place the first 30 on the Leyland and the next 30 on the Articuno. 
that puts them both in KO range. One from Frost Bullet, the other from Polar Spear. This deck is working out so beautifully. It's not fair, right? It's really not fair. The Queen Gardevoir, thank you so much for the follow. Very kind of you to be here. Okay, so now it's time to start setting up potentially another um, another Glacian, right? In case something happens. Uh, Ultra Ball is nice. Ultra Ball gets me um, the Eevee. Probably at the cost of two floatstones, but I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I could have also discarded the delinquent, but I kind of want to keep the delinquent because I'll probably want to delinquent my opponent again. That was that was why I thought about letting him keep the computer search because if I could delinquent him the next turn, then he has to discard the computer search and then whatever he top decks, which he probably would have wanted to save in order to computer search the turn afterwards, right? So yeah, um, picking red card. I think I'm gonna captivating poke buff here. Superior energy retrieval. You can have that card all day of the week. So we're gonna get our first two prizes. We're gonna deal 30 to the Articuno. We're gonna get our first two prizes and we are in an absolutely beautiful position. Acerola would actually be insane in this deck because like whatever your opponent barely manages to do, then you just undo it. Or even Pokemon Center Lady. Maybe Pokemon Center Lady would be better. Yeah. Maybe Pokemon Center Lady would actually be better. Oh no, okay, so discarding the computer search was actually pretty good because he already had the execute in the discard pile, which means he would have been able to use it the next turn. Yeah. So we know the card in my opponent's hand is a water energy, right? We know the card in my opponent's hand is a water energy. I don't I literally don't need to do anything other than frost bullet here. And then we might just win next turn. Right? We might actually just win next turn. And there's a victory. So, okay. The deck is working out so, so beautifully. Yeah. And we're going second. We've gone second in two of the three games that we have lost. I mean, that we have won. So, not bad. Not bad. The deck is working out pretty, pretty nicely. We're going to Celestial Storm Pack for our efforts. I have a booster code right here. So, I'm going to give that out in the meantime. Oops. <laughs> so much stuff. So much stuff on the screen. There we go. So a booster code there, guys. The camera doesn't want to focus. Focus, please. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. There you go. And so, yeah. Ah, uh, the Queen Cardivore, thank you for choosing to subscribe with Twitch Prime. I definitely missed that notification. It probably happened when I was switching. So thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. And there's a notification again. Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. So yeah, maybe people just don't want to play against the Glacian deck. <laughs> Okay, so we have an advantage. We have a four win streak and we're up against Todd Water. So we are going second. Yeah, so far we're going second yet again. I feel like if you go first and you pull up the combo, then that's a pretty much immediate win right there. We we have a, a not the best hand because unknown is definitely not good draw power, right? <laughs> But no, it's definitely not great drop power. Oh, wait, what? We're going first? What? That feels like a mistake. That feels like a mistake. Okay, do I repeat ball for an unknown just to make sure I can get an extra card? Yeah, right? I think I do. My opponent won the flip and he let me go first. Never do that, guys. Honestly, never do that. Okay. You know what? I should be evolving first to thin the Glacian, so I don't top the Glacian. And yes, Henry, I will happily show the list. Um, wow, okay. So we immediately win. Never choose to go second, guys. Even with Night March, never ever choose to go second. Okay, so last game with the deck. Yeah, last game with the deck. We faced some really... Alma, play Twitch. Thanks so much for the follow. Um, We've encountered some peculiar situations. 
Um, hopefully this next game allows us to do that. Never choose to go second. Possibly a misclick. We will never know, right? We will never know. Um, but yeah, her hand probably only had, or his hand, sorry, probably only had um, Shemin and Lele or something, as you guys are are mentioning. Okay, so let's click heads again. And we get to go first. <laughs> we get to go first. So, no water energy this time. No water energy this time. We get sent a heart and a hello, as is usual, but I'm not sure people are going to be big fans of me after they play against this deck. Um, the deck, like when it works, it's really, really cool. Oh, we're up against Greninja. Ooh. We are up against Greninja. So the Delinquent, oof, that's a beautiful top deck. However, okay, the best thing that I could find off of this Trainer's Mail is... Okay, the Ultra Ball works. Why does the Ultra Ball work? Because it allows me to... Um, it allows me to search for the Oricorio, and the Oricorio gets me the energy. Oh, but there's no Oricorio. Jesus Christ. Oricorio is prized. That is bad news. I mean, I guess, I guess, against, out of all the decks against Greninja, it's the one I probably don't need turn one Glacian, right? Greninja is probably the one I don't need turn one Glacian against. So, the DC should be fine, right? The DC should definitely be fine. Yeah. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Against Greninja, it's probably the one deck where I don't need... Ugh, this is not a good hand. Against Greninja, it's probably the one deck where I don't actually need... Um, the turn one collision. So, this is okay. Um, blue, thank you so much for the follow. I think I'm gonna grab another unknown here, and then I'm just gonna Marsh Shadow again. Uh, the E-Hammer, possibly, yes, possibly. E-Hammer is definitely a real possibility, but it's a real possibility whether I attach it now or later, right? Um, okay, so I think I just Ultra Ult here. Uh, I'm not gonna need a third EV. So I'm gonna Ultra Ult away the EV and the Floatstone. Four. I believe a second Shaman, right? I really don't want to whiff the Delinquent. I really, really don't want to whiff the Delinquent. Why did I attach the DC D-line? Because against Greninja, um, there's no GXs that I want to stop on turn one. Like, maybe he has Lele, but I doubt it, right? Or even if he does, um, it's fine, honestly. Um, okay, so I could, huh, if I captivating Poke Puff, Well, I have peaking red card. Okay. I think, like, if I can put him down to zero, that should be good as well. So, yeah. Perfect. If I delinquent him, he keeps the end. Now, he benches the Froki, and then I delinquent him. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then I can open up space on the bench with the unknowns. I'll discard Shaman. That's fine. Will I be attending Portland? No, I will not be attending Portland. Um, I went first, right? Yeah, I can't quick draw. So I think I just pass here. I think I just pass. Zero cards in hand for my opponent. He top decks. I mean, oh. <laughs> Honestly, out of all the decks, Greninja is probably the one that runs the most, the biggest amount of supporter cards, right? Ah, uh, top deck Cynthia. Okay, so here we go again. <laughs> so here we go again. Here we go again. Okay, so double farewell letter. Six dead cards. <laughs> Six dead cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and trainer's mail. We can grab the delinquent. I'm okay with that. And then let's trainer mails again. Horbrine, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, okay. So then, 
The peaking red card. I don't want to discard the DC, I don't think. Ah, oh, but maybe I have to. What is... Do I want to play the ED? No. Okay, I'm gonna grab... Oh, wow. I have two... No, I have one Glacian prized. And I have one... Okay, so I have one Water, one Oricorio, and one Glacian prized. Okay, so now the Oricorio is mattering, because I also have a Water Energy prized. So it's like I have four, two Water Energy prized. Okay, so evolve here. Evolve here. You should see what his hand is. No, I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to just see the one card rather than the six. Okay. So I get the thing, and I get the water energy, which is insane. So we're gonna do this again. No, no, no! I forgot to play the repeat ball first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to play the repeat ball. Oh my gosh, Pablo, what did you do? Could the deck play one Gladion? Maybe, maybe. Oh no, I need to repeat ball for the War Shadow. That's why I didn't pinch the EV. Oh, well, then I guess I would have still needed to draw the... Whatever. Okay, so picking red card. Oh, Starmy Water Froakie. I don't mind that at all. He can keep those three cards. He can definitely keep those three cards. I need discarded Lele Water uh, Greenwich Break. I am okay with that. I am actually okay with that. And we get a knockout. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Sir Bandage. That's right. I thought I misplayed, but technically, technically, I didn't misplay. Technically. <laughs> technically, I did not misplay. Okay, so we know he has water and star me. Doesn't attach the water. Right? He's gonna try to paralyze me to buy himself some turns. That is completely fine by me. So I'm gonna repeat all for a shaman to draw extra cards. I need a water energy. Well, actually, I need my Glacian off of my prizes. What am I saying? There's a water energy, but I can't even attach it. Ooh, the Ben Spoon. <laughs> ben Spoon means we win because he cannot paralyze me. So he needs to top deck a basic Pokemon just to survive. And we get the Glacian. Yeah, let's just say I would not have top deck. <laughs> let's just say that. Okay, gets the end. That's fine. Uh, we're probably too far ahead at this point. Like, We've created such a big advantage that um, we should be fine. Find a Brooklet, that's also fine. Um, Dutar, what's a good play for Portland? Rayquaza, Zork, uh, maybe Glacian. Uh, Tama Drummer, what's your thought on going to Dallas? Um, you're giving it some serious thought. Um, I mean, Dallas is always um, Dallas is always a great experience. Yeah, Dallas. Well, I've been to Dallas Regionals once last year, and it was a really good experience. Yeah. Okay, so we topped like the delinquent that I was going to computer search for. So let's just do that, right? Let's just do that. Okay, he discarded Brooklet, Greninja, and the Splash probably kept a draw supporter right my opponent probably kept a draw supporter in his hand so i'm going to computer search for the peaking red card and it is ace trainer yeah so we're gonna make him shuffle that and then i could repeat ball for the glacian i'm gonna keep it for now just in case i'm gonna place the 30 on the froggy Although the Froakie is probably what's getting promoted, so probably should have placed it on a Frogadier. Or not. Promotes a Frogadier. I'm fine with that. Finds an M. That's fair. Like I said, like, Greninja, it's the one deck that you don't care too much about the turn one Glacian. And it's also the one deck that plays, like, enough raw draw supporters to where it's not always guaranteed that you're going to be able to... Um, to like do great against it, yeah. Um, okay, but goes out into the Froki, that's fine, that is fine. I mean, finding the delinquent here would just be insane. It might also be as a big stretch, honestly. I don't think I need to. I am so far ahead that I don't think I need to, yeah. 
This could be the water. Yep, the water. That finds me Glacian. I don't think at this point my opponent can get through two Glacians before I um, before I beat him, right? Maybe he can get through one Glacian though, and I have discarded two Eevee so far. So if he goes Greninja Break, sure he can the Eevee and attack the Glacian, that would be bad. He goes for the Ace Trainer, that's fine. We get three instead of two with the N. Yeah, now you gotta get a place at a Fuller Delinquents. I mean, Fuller Delinquent looks really cool, right? So, yeah, it goes after the AV. So, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Um, the repeat bull that I didn't play for the Glacian might end up costing me this game. It honestly might end up costing me this game. Because at this point, my opponent only needs to deal with one Glacian. And if he has a basic water, we are out of luck. Ooh, counter catchers. I think that might lose him the game. I think I might lose him the game because he didn't damage my Glacian. Ooh, and I top <laughs> the delinquent, jeez. This deck absolutely hates Greninja. This deck absolutely <laughs> hates Greninja. It's like, here you go, have the tool you need in order to make sure you win this game. Here you go, Pablo. <laughs> Please. Fourth delinquent top deck. My top decks have been pretty busted. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Okay, so what I could do to prevent my Glacian from getting damaged. No, I need to, nah, let's pressure. Let's pressure. Frost bullet. He hits me for 80. Like, we're generally still in trouble. This is the only deck that you have good luck with. <laughs> Maybe. Am I playing at an expanded regional soon? I mean, there's Portland regionals. That's taking place soon. Okay, so we know one card is Splash. We don't know what the other card is. So... We go Frost Bullet, right? We go Frost Bullet, and then if my opponent has a basic water energy, he knocks out my Glacian. If my opponent has a basic water energy, he knocks out my Glacian. That means we're in trouble. One basic, four basics out of six, maybe? We know one card in his hand is not the basic, but it is one of his outs. He says, well played. So did we do it? Yes, we pulled it off. We pulled it off. Awesome. <laughs> Wow, that was super intense. That was actually super intense. Um, do I have a Zorgar Bliss in Expanded Horror Brind? No, but I did showcase uh, Zorg Alolan Muck. Yeah, I did showcase Zorg Alolan Muck. So yeah, five, five, was it? Five game win streak with this? Five game win streak. Okay, so here's the list again for you guys um, to play around with if you want. This deck is so unfair, potentially. Yeah, potentially so unfair. Um, my opponent also top decked nicely off of that first um, that first delinquent. Uh, but yeah, I definitely top decked really nicely here. Um, so yeah. Oh, that was you, yeah, Alexis? Yeah, GG. Um, very good game, I mean, very good game. Uh, yeah, this deck is very, very dirty indeed. Um, so yeah, guys, um, that's gonna be, that's gonna be it for me for today shorter stream today but the plan is to stream all five days this week yeah so come back tomorrow for more expanded action i will be playing rayquaza and then if you guys have any ideas um, for decks to play in expanded i'll probably make um a post on my facebook page for you guys to comment on or tweet at me on twitter at tablebon um so yeah you guys are watching on youtube and you enjoyed this leave a like it really helps out the channel and I will be seeing you guys tomorrow, guaranteed, okay? My, my commitment to myself is to stream every day of this week. Hopefully every day remaining of October, um, like every weekday. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.
away. I guess we're giving away all the secret rare energies. Dang. Dang. What's up? I super appreciate it. How's it going, guys? How was your stream? Well, good luck. So what we do is we play marbles for secret rare energies. So we got a secret rare grab and we're giving it to us by another. And then we got to pick out another, another fun one. It's kind of good. Is it? Man, we can't play Glaceon right now because I don't actually have um, <laughs> Zorhurx. Because yikes. But it's fine. <laughs> Alright, if we can hit the Cynthia.